Welcome back to Spa. Sorry, Wilton Mill. That's kind of how the weather's been. This is how heavy the rain was at the end of our last race, the Super Elites. We're heading into the Super Masters now. The rain has eased off a little bit, but we've still got an action-packed one in front. Dimelo and Fisher on the front row. Yeomans and Rainbird. Churchill and Roots. Lawrence and Fisher. Bredner and Nichols. And I'm not kidding. Any one of those ten drivers could be on the top step of this podium. George Friday, Carl Churchill, Steg Elboth and Oliver George in behind. This has been the most fantastic championship in terms of close competition that we've seen so far this weekend they are very close to each other Neil Fisher obviously just keeping a check on Dimelo to his left as they come down the main straight this is going to be the race of the weekend for my money it's wetter than it's been for any of the other finals and away we go we're on board with the e plate Neil Fisher and he goes straight on at Crook he gets back onto the circuit and there goes the 2-1-1 by Ken Churchill through into second position Hang on a minute, that is Ken Churchill. How's he got all the way up to second place? Yeomans is being forced wide as well. Look, three, four, five, six carts have gone through in Christmas, and it looks like a seventh. He's going to try and make the way through as well. So Yeomans getting manhandled through Christmas as a few more drivers throwing their weight in there through the middle parts of the course. Now we're just looking through the various drivers for the 2017 season, the likes of Lawrence, Jim Rainbird, one of the grandmasters, Ben Nichols, the man from Bristol. That's the E-plate, Neil Fisher getting in there with Rainbird. Roland Bredner has been particularly strong this weekend and he's getting faster as we go through. The Carlin-based Matt Ogle, his home is Boston. Tricky conditions in the early stages of this race as they all battle through. The Churchills are doing a good job in these conditions, I've noticed, particularly Ken Churchill, who's right up there in position. Not bad for a chap 58 years of age. That just shows you, you're never too old to be a racing champion. Oh, a little bit of a wobble here from the E-plate. Neil Fisher, we're riding on board with at the moment. Just looking through the rest of the field. Clayton Pierce, one of the rookies. Sean Port, good to see him back in the grid again. And we've lost the place as we ride on board. Ollie George, the 284. Now, his story is fantastic for this season. He's only been in the country four days, having got here from the United Arab Emirates. He got back to England and thought, what the heck? I'm going to go back to racing in Easy Car. Found it's now called Biral Art UK and went, oh, well back to basics then and he won a championship a few years ago so he'll be a strong challenger for the 2017 title make no mistake big wobble over the curbs for Fisher Dimelo's getting away Ken Churchill running in second Fisher sliding all over the place trying to keep Jim Rainbird at bay and getting in there for the battle as well that is the 2-3-6 of Michael Roots who's also been a very strong driver in his first weekend of 2017 Roots and George were actually fastest in practice yesterday in the dry conditions at one stage. Runs a little bit wide there though, almost losing a place, but Dimelo has got Ken Churchill right underneath him. Fisher trying to cool down the tyres a bit perhaps, trying to go through too far in defence, too much. There goes Rainbird through, can we get back? Yes, we can. Great driving there from Neil Fisher. He picks up the pieces, gets the third position back. So Rainbird in fourth place. We've got this fantastic train of carts developing and Yeomans is in there in seventh position behind Roots and Bredner. Sam Dimelo, reigning champion, leads the way. The man with the world's coolest beard in motorsport. He could be a ZZ Top tribute act on his own. Ken Churchill running in second position in the 2.11. I'm intrigued to know how he got all the way up to second position off the start though. He must have had an absolute lightning rod in the back of the car. So Dimelo, Churchill in second. And they come through the turn. On the starting gantry, no messages, so everybody going through perfectly fine at the moment, it seems. Well, Yeomans has dropped back a long way. It's the four that's in there in seventh place, Sam Fisher. Not sure what's happened to Yeomans. He seems to have fallen off the pace somewhere. The seven is in there as well. That is Mark Lawrence. Mark Lawrence, the uh, chipper Scotsman, one of the more popular characters in the championship. And see as he comes up and over the curbs to try and close up on the four of Sam Fisher, who in turn is closing up on uh, the man in front of him, that is Bredner, who's got Roots in front of him, who's got Rainbird in front of him, and then all the way up to Neil Fisher. But Dimelo and Churchill are on their own up front, and you can see there, Roland Bredner struggling to wipe the rain from the visor. He only did a partial campaign last season. He really wants to commit to the full season this year, considering he was so strong in the races he did compete last year. We all want to see him there as well. Now there's Churchill Jr., Carl, the 200, joining the back of the group. And he's in there with Yeomans. Churchill Senior is still there in second. Look, right up behind Dimelo. Dimelo's gone wide, but it's not enough to lose the lead. Sam Dimelo is not a champion for anything. 
It's quite interesting. Chatting to Sam yesterday, he was frustrated during the practice sessions. He hates testing with a vengeance. He really doesn't like it. He doesn't see the point. He just wants to get in there and race. So uh, he's a much more kamikaze sort of driver in that respect. He doesn't want to do the practice. He doesn't want to do the setup. He just, never mind that, just get on with it. Wave the flag and let's go racing. So Michael Roots losing the position that he just gained to Fisher as he tries again. But Fisher doing his best. Michael Roots running in fourth position, having got past Rainbird. A return to the championship for him, very similarly to Oliver George, a former champion, Michael Roots. So good to see him back in the ranking again in 2017. And now, interestingly, Carl Churchill has got past Ben Yeomans, who seems to be having a nightmare of a race meeting. Ben Yeomans, not quite sure what's happened to him today. But the two seed is nowhere near. Ah, now that's a warning flag for this man, who is the E-plate and also the sixth plate, Neil Fisher. The E-plate denotes him as the Easy Car Open champion, the championship he won last year. But he's been given a warning there. Now, in these conditions, it's only going to be for one thing, black and white, and that is track limits. So he's obviously explored the limits of the circuit once too often. But he's uh, pushing to catch up with Ken Churchill, and that's why he's doing it. Churchill has a very late lunge on the back of Sam Dimolo for the lead. You're never going to make that move stick, not from that far back. And that drops him into the clutches of Fisher and Roots. Churchill runs a little bit deep. This could be the opportunity for Neil Fisher. That's the move, and he gets through in a second position. Just a little bit of a mistake there from Ken, and now Michael Roots is getting in there as well. Churchill's trying to come back. He gets the position back once more. We ride on board with Neil Fisher, up and over the curves. Let's ride through the toe of the boot. Churchill goes wide, down to the heel. Look how much you can see on the camera lens. I bet, I bet that Neil Fisher can barely see anything. He runs wide, so that's track limits again, potentially, for Neil Fisher. But he's got to be very careful not to do that too many times. There's a bit more leniency with the cadets and even the juniors, but at Supermasters level, you've got to keep your car behind those two painted lines. On up the inside, that's the move. for position, is it for Bredna? Yes, he's defended valiantly there from Sam Fisher. Tried to get through, couldn't make it stick. Bredner defends nicely. So those two still squabbling away. Very tricky in these wet conditions. And I am genuinely of the opinion that this year we've got at least half a dozen drivers who could be champion in 2017. Demolo has won both of the previous races today, but in each of those, he has not been dominant. He has not been a country mile out ahead of the rest. He's had to really work to get there. And he has appreciated already that this is not going to be an easy defense of a championship. He's going to have to work incredibly hard if he wants that championship trophy on his mantelpiece again at the end of the season. But Ken Churchill there in second position. Still running a great race, Ken. Third is Fisher. Fourth position is Roots. Then it's Bredner. And then Fisher. That is Sam Fisher. No relation, by the way, those two. Into the Christmas turn once again towards Inkermans, that's a really strong run from Roots as he gets back on terms with Fisher, plenty of curb at Inkermans, the back end steps out but he's got plenty of grip to combat it. Now normally this is where the uh, Grand Masters or the heavier drivers in the field will have an advantage, up the inside comes Roots, nudges Fisher wide, thanks for the memories, I'm going to move into third position, cheers, and oh that was also Bredner going through and then slipping out wide, so that's Neil Fisher getting back into position. I was just going to say, in these uh, conditions, the slightly heavier drivers... Oh, and there's a spin in front! Now, who is that that's got? I think that is Ken Churchill. Ken Churchill has lost it. That is a disaster. Yes, Ken Churchill was the one who spun at the ankle of the boot. And that is his second position. Absolutely gone in smoke. What a disaster. So now we're battling over second position. Neil Fisher trying to close up on Michael Roots, who is there in... Oh, sorry, no, that, that's not Roots. That's Bredner. Rainbird now dives for the inside of Fisher. Roots is already up the road, so that's the battle for third position. So Dimolo leading Roots second. Bredner now up to third, then it's Neil Fisher. Here comes Sam Fisher, a look up the inside. He's left that late. Can he get back on the power? No, Neil Fisher gets him back. Great battle. What did I tell you? The Supermasters is the class to be watching in 2017. The adults are showing the cadets how it's done. This is magnificent squabbling. Up on the curbs, Mark Lawrence is joining the battle as well now, tucked in behind Sam Fisher. He wants a piece of this. Meanwhile, Carl Churchill still has Ben Yeomans all over the back of him. So there's squabbles all over the all over the grid in the top ten. Last five minutes of the action. Here we go. And still, Dimolo leading. He's got himself a nice bit of a gap this time from uh, Michael Roots in second and in third position, Roland Bredner. 
but Ken Churchill has recovered. We just saw him going over the start finish line, so he has got the car back going again. Neil Fisher has got the most bizarre racing line through Christmas. He breaks very late and turns in at the last possible second, throws the car back into the apex, and uh, it almost caught Sam Fisher out, but it seems to be working for Neil Fisher. He's done all right, and he's still right up there in the midst of the top three. He's not in third position yet, he's in fourth, but Seems to be working okay for him. Now, interestingly, Michael Roots has got right on the back of Sam Dimolo. So Dimolo has won the first two races of the weekend, won the heat, won the pre-final. Can he win the final? Not if Michael Roots has anything to say about it because he's going to push very hard. There's Roland Bredner. Roots, look, he's pushing. He is pushing to try and get one over on Sam Dimolo. That's the reigning champion, Michael Roots, a former champion. Battle is commencing here in 2017 at Wilton Mill. Dimolo, look, he's defending to the inside line. Well, I say defending, what he's actually trying to do is cool down the tyres by making them run over the wetter parts of the circuit because it has stopped raining, as we said. It's not exactly getting warmer, the circuit, but it's definitely drying out a bit. Still damp, so uh, there are parts of the circuit that are going to be busting us. Dimolo looks over his shoulder. Blimey, where did you come from, Mike? He's right there with you, and now you've got a battle on your hands. Goes deep into the second apex down the hill as they come back onto the back straight and down towards the boot. Dimolo is taking the most defensive line he can take. I think he's aware that with only three minutes and 20 on the clock, he's not really going to be able to pull away from Michael Roots. He's just got to hope he doesn't get through. Two very differing racing lines from the two drivers you saw there in the final turn as they come across the line. Roots is now right on the bumper. And not far away is Roland Bredner. Neil Fisher's coming along for company. Then it's the other Fisher. Sam, who's actually uh, dropped behind Rainbird again. So here comes the move, does it, from Roots? No, he's just lining up Dimolo for an overtaking move. He's going to wait to the last possible moment, surely, before he can get this move set up. If he's there on the final lap with an opportunity to pounce on Dimolo into the, the boot, I reckon he'll go for it. Michael has already put in some cracking overtakes this weekend. There's a genuine chance he could win this now. Sam Dimolo has been pretty conservative for the main part of the weekend. He's never pushed harder than he has to. Very reminiscent of the way Nelson Piquet used to drive. He would only ever push as much as was necessary rather than go full guns blazing. But Dimolo's very cautious attitude is allowing Roots an opportunity to go on the inside and take the lead. Dimolo's going to go right around the outside. They bang rear wheels. Dimolo holds on to it. Goodness me, that was close. That was really tight between the two of them. And now Roots knows what Dimolo is going to do if he gets an opportunity. He's going to find every single inch of the circuit to get that place back. So Roots is going to try, duck back out of Christmas, build up the pace, have another crack at Ashby. That's a big wobble from Dimolo. If he can keep the speed up through Inkermans. Not quite, Dimolo has defended very nicely, but now he's got to make a move because Roland Bredner is on the back of both of them. He needs to go for the lead, otherwise he'll lose second position. So Dimolo slides down the hill into the second left-hander. He goes very deep, but that's the racing line in these conditions. You can't really afford to run right to the inside line. That's where all the rubber is, and in the wet, you slide around and lose grip. Roland Bredner's now going to have a try at Michael Roots up the inside. No, you don't. Oh, that was close. And that's why Roots now really needs to get on terms with Sam Dimolo because Bredner is threatening. And now that Bredner's failed to make the move, Neil Fisher's going to try and come at him. This is a four-way scrap for victory now. Not far away is Rainbird. Fisher has a look. We ride on board with Neil Fisher. This is how much he can see after 13 minutes of racing. There's still barely any visibility and barely any grip out there. Bredner runs deep. Oh, Fisher's gone! Fisher went for the move, but the gap was closing. The door was shutting, and Fisher gets caught out and spat out to the scenery. Oh, the E-plate has gone spiraling down the field, and it leaves just the three of them at the front. Now, for my money, I'd say that's a racing incident, really. Roland Bredner wasn't doing anything illegal there at all. Fisher suddenly saw, ah, he's gone wide. I'm going for the gap. No, there's no gap there at all. Bredner was already committing to the line. And unfortunately, no harm, no foul, other than uh, Fisher's race gone up in smoke. But that is, for me, a racing incident. Here comes Roots again. He's made that same gap on Dimolo. Dimolo's not going to let him through. They bang wheels again twice as they come across the line. Two to go. And with two laps to go, it is a three-way grudge match. Never mind battle the victory. Micah Roots is trying again here. 
up the straight. This time he's side by side up. Manuel's back. If he gets the move done at Christmas, it could be game over. Bretner's through as well. Bretner's through two in a second position. So Dimolo goes down to third. Wow, that's a major hammer blow for Sam Dimolo. He's going to desperately try and get himself back in a position. But if Dimolo only comes out with third position from this race, he will feel sick to the stomach. But Michael Roots, absolutely unfazed by the reigning champion. This is not your year, mate. 2017 is mine. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, bucko. So Roland Bredner through in the second position. If we see a full season campaign from him, he could well be one of Michael Roots and Sam Dimolo's biggest opponents in this 2017 season. There's Fisher. He's recovered in front of Mark Lawrence, the Scot, as we go into the final lap. And Roots has got enough of a gap to be comfortable over Roland Bredner. The question is, has Sam Dimolo got enough time to get back on terms with Bredner? I'm not sure he has. I think he's lost too much time. So Roland Bredner is going to be comfortable in second position unless he makes a mistake. And look, Bredner has nicked Neil Fisher's line. He was sat behind him for a couple of laps. And he's obviously seen that that worked for Fisher to get him towards the front. So now he's doing the same. But Michael Roots has driven so calculated in this race. Again, he's been very smooth when he needed to work his way through the field. But he took no prisoners when he was up alongside Sam Dimolo. I couldn't care less if you've got the number one plate on your cart. It's coming to me at the end of the season, mate. Let's see what you've got in response at Shennington, because Michael Roots is going to get this victory into the boot for the last time. A fantastic battle between them, but Michael Roots is going to come through for the victory in front of Roland Bredner and Sam Demolo to round off the podium. Final turn, checkered flag. Oh, yes, that is sweet as a nut for Michael Roots. Beautifully done. Sam Demolo has to settle for third position in his first final of the 2017 season. But he'll still be very strong in the championship standings with that because of his two wins earlier on, don't forget. So Michael Roots is your winner. Second position, a great drive from Roland Bredner. Third position for Sam Dimolo. And as we said, oh, that's a spin out of the final turn. That's Oliver George. Well, he did say he hadn't driven in the wet for about 10 years. Is he going to beat his opponent to the line? Well, that's not the way to uh, have a photo finish. But Michael Roots wins it from Dimolo and Rainbird. Bredner is fourth ahead of Sam Fisher. Churchill comes home in sixth. That's Churchill Jr. from Yeomans, Fisher, Lawrence and Friday, all of whom are left scratching their heads. Ready for next time. Welcome back to the Birrell Art UK paddock, Michael. Fantastic performance and a great win today. Yeah, it was a bit of an up and down day, really. I made some stupid mistakes on on the cart and stuff like that. And, uh, but yeah, only me to blame. And yeah, it was a yeah, good recovery in the end. It was a stunning race when you just made sure you pushed only as hard as you had to right to the end. Oh no, I was trying as hard as I could all the time. <laughs> yeah, just, um, yeah, the cart was just coming on. So um, yeah, I think we just got lucky, I think really with the set. It was one of them days. I think you just, if you got lucky, you could do well. So I think I just got lucky to be honest. Are you confident you can carry on the form to Shennington? Yeah, I'll give it a go. I've, done it in the past at Shenton, so I'll give it another go. So we leave the Belgian climate of Wilton Mill for another weekend. We're back at Shennington for the next round of the championship in late April. Downforceradio.com will be there, but the cameras will be back in time for Glanagorse Park in May.